Hello, it's Hugh, doing the video for week 8. Uh, it's just like take 26. Hopefully I'll get it this time. Um, I watched the anthropology intro, and pretty much it was a, a reiteration of what we have learned in the course so far. It also brought up some number of facts that I wasn't aware of, and it was I found it kind of interesting. One of the ones, you know, that I thought was kind of funny was that YouTube produced more programming in six months than CBS did in 40 years. That's huge, because you used to watch TV a lot when I was a kid. And, uh, I mean, that's all we had before computers and social media and all this stuff came out. YouTube. Um, the advance, it just goes to show you the advancements in the 20th century and the 21st century is just unreal and it's like changing every day um, but you know I like where they sat down and expressed the numbers to us the 9,000 hours of video a day it's constantly on 365 days a year and 200,000 three minute videos are uploaded each day that's just huge let alone the 88 percent of the material uploaded to YouTube is new and original so basically today, you know, from what I've learned from this class and I've seen and I've talked to other people and some of my friends that actually use YouTube as financial gain, you know, we can make money, make a living on YouTube today. If you don't like your job or don't like where you're at, you can take a stab at it and see how you do on YouTube. Um, another thing I found kind of interesting is that People have days, people have good days, people have bad days. And, you know, seeing something as simple as one of the videos to cheer people up over music is spread throughout the world and it can change people's day in like a minute. Uh, I, I like to see the positive things in social media, vice the negative. Um, people, we can share joy throughout the world just by changing our attitudes and also videotaping ourselves making a complete fool of ourselves not caring what other people think you know just relaxing and enjoying life something that simple we make global connections with other people and sometimes well I forget it I might have a bad day and I forget it and just get in my head and get in my own self and just forget about life itself um, another thing that I liked about what was talked about is that we get linked to others by liking, sharing, and are expressing ourselves through our videos. I don't know, just, um, I don't know, when I grew up, I didn't have a cell phone. I didn't have a cell phone until I was like 25, 26, I don't know, I was in the mid-20s before I had my first cell phone. We didn't have cell phones when I grew up. I grew up in the 70s and 80s, you know, and, and we had TV and we were linked by roadways, as well which was expressed on this video. I can relate to that kind of connection through through roadways and TV. That's how we connected, and radio. So nowadays with social media, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, there are so many more ways to be connected with other people. And I use social media for a business aspect and, and to connect with friends. And and it's it's good. It's good. I like it. I am care more careful about it now than I was before. However, how careful can we be on social media? Um, some of the other things they talked about, uh, you know, like meeting in electronic forms, dating. When I grew up, it was face to face. Today, you can date online, or you can meet other people through Meet.com and go hiking. You know, people that like to do hobbies like you do, photography, hiking, you know, you can meet online and then go out and do the things that you want. You know, we didn't have that when I grew up. Um, webcams, that's like one of the negatives I think about the internet. Our social media is webcams. Being, I was an IT network engineer for 24 years, and I use this piece of tape right here to cover up my webcam. Just because... They can access, anybody can access that port on your computer, even if it is disabled. People can watch you and you wouldn't even know you're being watched. And that's one of the things that was talked about in this video. You know, webcams are used, it's as asynchronous world, it's one way. You never know who's watching you. And it's probably one of the uh, good things for thieves these days, is webcams. So I cover mine up because... I, 
I have seen my port accessed <laughs> and it was and it was turned off um, but other than that I think um, the big thing I liked about this video where it stressed that people express hope and happiness throughout YouTube and it's spreading it around the world I think that's neat you know because um, think about the times when our nation was at its worst and the videos that was being put on YouTube at that time you know it's expressing hopes to families and stuff that lost loved ones but um, I think that's the good things about uh, the good things about YouTube is that right there is our nation getting together making connections and just tr trying to help make people happy and help other people out and, and you see these things in videos. I think that's some of the good things about YouTube. But one last thing I'd like to say is that I was going through another course. And there's a thing that popped up about Albert Einstein where he talked about, I fear the day that technology will surpass our human interaction. The world will have a generation of idiots. You know, just take a good look at a restaurant the next time you go to a restaurant. Look, at, look and see how many people are looking at their cell phones. And see how many people are actually sitting there talking to each other. But that's all I have to say and hope you have a good day. Bye.